Armored Core Law, the Berliner Corporation. The small corporation from Earth that tried to make a place for themselves on Mars. Their efforts, however, would supply one of the greatest rebellions of all time. This is Berlena. History. From the pages of the Armored Core Mechanical Guidebook, we learn even before the Great Death War, Berlena's name was known, but it was under economic and technological pressure from the other large companies, and had very little presence. The Mars rush itself belongs to the corporations of Zeomatrix and Emerald. As such, it is thought that Berlena's future on Mars would end as a second line company. However, after expanding to Mars, their whole outlook changed as they established groundbreaking new technology in the field of AC weapon production. After this, they jumped to center stage as a famous AC part manufacturer, announcing new technologies one after another. This alone helps Belena establish itself as one of the leading corporations on Mars. Such characteristics of Belena's engineering cannot be seen in the development of MTs or ACs itself, but in the various additional parts mounted on an AC. Although the number of products from this corporation itself is small compared to the other large corporations, the number of new and original technologies that Belena boasts are unrivaled. In addition to that, the technology cultivated during the development of their extension parts is used on other manufacturing lines. However, it should be noted that demand is only high on Mars, where there is a lot of conflict. This is how the small corporation, who their main Earth headquarters sent them to Mars with the bare minimum, managed to claim itself a bit of the red planet. However, it should be noted that while they had this success, it is pointed out in Armour Core 2, the navigation guide, that Belena could not afford the bidding prices on Ravens. As such, this explains why they are seen so little to begin with, as the Mars branch simply did not have the credits to hire Ravens. Another important note here is the Mars branch of Belena mainly produced AC parts. As such, it does not have much expertise in the development of NTs, fighter planes or heavy machinery and does not seem to have put much effort in development, leaving them with a rather short list of parts and produced war machines. So where does this leave them? After becoming a force on Mars with a few lambs, buildings, and just enough manpower to keep the other corporations at bay. The truth is that the Mars branch went on doing business with both Zeo and Emerald, playing both sides as the war between these two powerhouses started to get worse. In truth, until the arrival of the Frighteners on Mars, Belena would remain quite quiet, before starting to now do business with this new government power, only hiring the Raven for three missions throughout the entire events of the Mars War. These would include Infiltrate Raider Base, Stop the Surface Weapon, and Escort Train. The only notable thing that the Mars Belena group did is upgrade the Frighteners' armored cores, with their parts which, as discussed, were considered of excellent quality and new. However, while they aided the LCC and the Frighteners for a while, when Leos Klein rebelled, and unleash disorder units all over Mars, the corporation's MTs could not protect them. As such, the Mars branch of Belena was wiped out during the rebellion. The effects of this would not be felt until five years later, when after all this is learned, the Earth headquarters of Zeomatrix and Marimarad, who had been punished for their branches on Mars, refused to do business with Belena due to them being seen as co-conspirators with the government. Nevertheless, with this loss, Earth's Belena had gained power on Earth thanks to this, as the now military-focused government saw them as an ally. But in truth, the cloak-and-dagger tactics of this corporation had only just begun, as while on the surface business with the Earth government went on as usual, in secret the corporation would support terrorist group like the Indies, who wished to overthrow the government due to the Earth's underground population feeling that the government was doing nothing to help improve their lives. Products it is a very short list for Belena. As said, the corporation only managed to get a foothold on Mars thanks to their AC parts development. However, their sole focus on this meant they did not make any AC designs of their own and they lagged behind in MT production, mostly relying on LCC forces and their own small production of basic MTs to protect them. Starting with AC parts, we have some FCSs, the DOX 105, the DOX 125, the DOX PG2, the DOX Elm, and the docks Alina. Some generators include the Hoi B999, the Hoi B1000, and the Hoi BV2500. Radiators include the RRX COT1000, the RRX COT 1550, and the RRX COT GK10. Inside parts include the INW DEC 00A, the INW DEC MQ2, the INW EMRRD, and the INWDM Puppet. For extensions, Belena had the Bex BB2110, the Bex BD150, the Bex BRMO2, 
and the Bex BAMS 287. Back units include the BRLT B10000 and the BRSB Osprey. They also built one left arm unit, this would be the LS Moonlight, and some parts included in Armored Corps Another Age include the Bex AA00. Another known product from this corporation is noted in the Armored Corps 2 navigation guide. It is called the Ladybird. A local combat aircraft manufactured by Bellina, it is a very high performance aircraft with high maneuverability and missiles with good performance. It is a fighter that fully demonstrates the technical capabilities cultivated through the development of extensions. The high performance AI, which uses technology different from that used by other corporations, demonstrates its power in pilot assistance during flight and in the attack system. After the introduction of this aircraft, various companies and organizations began to adopt it. So here ends the report on this small corporation, whose Mars branch played two giants against one another before arming a terrorist group who would finish them off. This ends the report on the corporation known as Balena.